Welcome to Meta Taylor. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to build an outfit for a MetaHuman and apply it in Unreal Engine. To start, I'm gonna open the MetaHuman app in the web browser, and I'm gonna build myself a character. I'm gonna remove all the clothes from the character as I don't need them because we're gonna be building an outfit in MetaTailor later. Next, I'm gonna open a blank Unreal project. I'm gonna open Quixel Bridge. I'm gonna to navigate to the avatar that I created. I'm gonna spawn him into scene and I'm gonna make sure to use 000 for its world coordinates as this is important for later. Next, I'm gonna click the MetaHuman, click File, Export Selected. Then I'm gonna find a place to save the FBX exported avatar so that I can import it into MetaTailor in the next step. Use these export options. We don't need LODs or morph targets. Now that I'm in MetaTailor, I'm gonna click import and I'm gonna click avatar. I'm gonna to navigate to the FBX MetaHuman and import it into the tool. These are the import steps. I don't need to actually import any textures if I don't want to, they're optional. I'm gonna hit next and it's gonna automark landmarks to the avatar. I can make minor adjustments if I need to. When I'm done, I hit next steps. Now I've imported my MetaHuman FBX. Again, I can click the avatar and add textures if I want. I went ahead and added textures so that you can see how they look in viewport. Next, I'm gonna hit content browser and browse through clothes. I'm gonna add these military style pants. Next, I'm gonna find a camouflage shirt. I like the shirt, but it seems a little too baggy for me. So I'm gonna use the FFD modifier to actually shorten the length of the shirt. Next, I'm gonna use the shrink wrap slider to give the shirt a better fit to the avatar. Then I'm gonna drag the shirt down a layer so that it tucks itself into the pants. Next, I'm gonna add a tactical harness over the shirt. Then I'll add a utility belt and I'm gonna bring it up so it's concentric to the vest underneath. And a tactical backpack. Then I'll add a scarf and I wanna drag the scarf down a layer underneath the backpack. I'm gonna add one more tight fitting scarf around the neck and I'm gonna drag it down a few layers so that it's really tight up against the neck. From here, I can begin adding accessories. I'll go ahead and add this smoke grenade and then I'll drag the smoke grenade down a few layers so that it is tucked underneath the belt. Look at how it procedurally layers in real time. Next, I'm gonna add a tactical holster. And a pistol to go in the holster. Finally, I'll add some boots. And then I wanna tuck these boots underneath the pants. In the end, I added a few more accessories to make the full outfit pop. From here, we can export our outfit directly back into Unreal Engine and target it to the MetaHuman. To do that, name your file, set PNG as the texture format, and uncheck avatar in your export settings. We just want the outfit for now. When export completes, it will open up the file save location in the file browser. Now that we've finished exporting from Meta Taylor, we're gonna go back into Unreal Engine and open up Quixel Bridge and spawn in a fresh MetaHuman avatar. From there, open the content browser and create a new folder for our FBX outfit that we just created. Then we're gonna import the FBX outfit. In the FBX import options, I'm gonna actually target the skeleton to the MetaHuman. So I'm just gonna type in the MetaHuman name and see it pop up in the drop down menu. I click the skeleton to actually have it applied in the skeleton tab. Next, I click import. Once import is complete, you should see the outfit and all of the materials inside of your content browser. To apply the outfit to the MetaHuman in scene, open up the blueprints. In the top left, click add, and then search skeletal mesh. Then click to add the skeletal mesh to the avatar. Rename it to close or whatever you'd like. In the right hand side underneath mesh is skeletal mesh asset. Go ahead and scroll down and navigate to the outfit that you imported. Once you click it, it should apply itself directly to the avatar. Once the outfit is applied, you can begin bringing in the texture maps to add materials to your outfit. 
And that is how you use MetaTailor to build custom outfits for MetaHuman avatars. To try MetaTailor, visit metatailor.app and get started for free.